all set to go now and they're racing away from that 1800 meter position a good start for the quintet over here october fair champagne cocktail from the deepest draw and avo on toast is right up there in the early part say yes the white face along the inside and the back mark is intoxicating as jp van der Merwe angles the favorite champagne cocktail through to the rail and so doing inconvenience as say yes the jockey was had to take a hold there back in second avo on toast is lying in third followed by october October Fair and intoxicating the two back markers now as they went past the 1400 and only about five lengths will cover them as the favorite champagne cocktail kicks about two lengths clear of say yes and ever on toast they race in the pair there and the other pair race at the back end October Fair and intoxicating five off them now through the thousand they go champagne cocktail she's allowed to use her stride up front and she's got a big one at that she led by two and a half from say yes and second more settled now Avo on toast is lying in third as they reach the top of the strip behind that intoxicating and October fair. Compact field still head down the strip and the angle down for home now. They've got just over 600 metres to go. Champagne cocktail by two from Say Yes and Avo on toast. No change on the outside as October fair and intoxicating has gone darting towards the inside as they come into the home straight now and approach the 400 and Champagne cocktails opened up. Champagne cocktail clears away by four lengths now from say yes intoxicating october fair on the outside is avo on toast but ridden with the hands it's champagne cocktail down to the last 200 three and a half four lengths clear say yes back in second the rest looking for lifelines but champagne cocktail six seven lengths clear pop the corks and have a party champagne cocktail delivers in good order by six lengths seven maybe say yes second intoxicating avo on toast and october fair not only of the breeding but the racing industry as a whole and champagne cocktail uh, mary would be absolutely delighted with this win because just a shake of the reins 300 out and she starts to extend and she will clear away to win a good one she's a daughter of sylvana she's out of that mayor espumanti and uh, well there's three races at turpentine today three well-backed favorites have won and a lot of the punting public will be popping those corks right now All right, welcome back to the winner's enclosure. And uh, number six, Champagne Cocktail, has been given a top ride by JP van der Merwe. Off to the front, ears pricked, and uh, I think Nico summed it up. Uh, we have privileges in life, and this was an absolute privilege of mine to be sitting here watching her parade in the back parade ring. She's a real looker. Well done to the Volkabos Drift PTY Limited team, to Mary Slack, to Jessica, to Stephen, and, of course, the big boss, Mike de Kock. We'll be hoping to grab a comment from him. Uh, JP, well done. I must say, um, easy work for you. I know there's a little bit of pressure that come with these good horses, uh, but she made it look so easy today. Yeah, thank you, B. Um, obviously, um, this is already working towards, um, this is why I wake up in the mornings and uh, do, do the hard work. But um, big thank you to Mr. O'Cock. He made it simple to me. He just said to me, right, I like she's the best horse in a race, and that's exactly what I did. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Japes, how many gears does she have? Because I'm convinced she hasn't come out of first gear this afternoon. Uh, you allowed her to idle in front. I was watching her ears closely. Um, she was just doing it so easily. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to rave too much, AB, but um, there's quality. Uh, we'll see how good she is later on. Anything else that uh, you like today, JP? Probably the right man to speak to is Mike himself, but say uh, if you had to single one of your best rides coming up? I thought it's my best for the day, it'd be um, the rest, you just out there trying him. Yeah. All right, thank you, JP. Obviously, well done to Mr. Cock, well done to the whole team, Jessica, Stephen, big thank you. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, and Mary and uh, my sponsor, Bryce Auctioneers, thank you, Mary. Well done, there we go, that's JP van der Merwe. Good to see you, Mr. De Cock. Um, yeah, look, I mean, she's oozing class. I know you had to obviously respect the fact that there were a few hard hitters in the race, but you happy with what you've seen today? Yeah, you always, you always are um, respectful of your opposition because the day you lose respect for them, you find yourself in, in hot water, in my opinion. But um, she had to do it today. You know, it doesn't matter what I think of her. She's, she, at the end of the day, she's going to come to the race course. She's going to do it. Um, I like the way she did do it up front. Ears pricked, not green at all. Not even first time out, but she green. You know, I mean, she doesn't really shift the ground at all so um total professional and 
yeah, going the right way. These horses are always, you know, pressure to, tra to train, but I'd rather have that than not have the pressure, to be honest. And of course, fantastic for Mary, who's, uh, you know, obviously bred her and, yeah. and, and raced the mother as well. So it's a hell of a thing for, for, for someone that, um, I mean, I think, I know Mary gets a great kick out of, you know, breeding these lovely fillies. I know you don't want to pull the trigger too early, um, still early days, but any immediate plans, Mr. Decock? Yeah, look, it's either the Phillies Mile yeah, on Summer Cup Day or it's the Phillies Guineas in Cape Town. Um, it's not a filly that I think needs a lot of, lot of racing. Uh, you know, I have, I've quite, and I'll just let her do, you know, do her own thing because she's just a pro. Um, but those are the two races in mind. I mean, I'd be leaning to the Phillies Guineas in Cape Town, to be honest, uh, because I, I think she deserves a crack at it. We'll raid in. Um, you know, let's hope we get a, a half decent draw. And I mean, you've made it no secrets. She'll go ten furlong plus, no problem. I think she, Brandon. I think she's one of those horses that can go whatever distance you put her. You know, she's, she's, um, she has the ability to relax. She's got a massive stride, so she doesn't have to worry about every everyone else. You know what I mean? I think she, she, she probably puts them all under pressure in the first thousand meters of a race. Right. Um, so yeah, um, you know, look. <sighs> I think she'll go the Oaks distance. I mean, the, obviously the Triple Tiara is a, is a, is is obviously the, the obvious future with her, yeah. But one's got you know you can't ignore the Phillies Guineas in Cape Town. That's always a quality race and uh, quality Phillies won it. Money's also good. Yeah, look, I, I don't know. I don't think it's about money with Mary at yeah. all. Um, I mean, we're at a stage in our lives now that we really want to deal with quality horses. Um, you don't chase the money. You chase the the prestige of, of, of certain races. Mr. De Kock, you've been kind enough to uh, pass your comments onto the Betway website, the Insiders blog. If you had to single out your next best? Um, I'm going to say probably Bonnet, but the other filly's legs are not tied in the race, but she, I, Bonnet's, you know, she's a filly that I thought a lot of early and then she disappointed me. She got very light and very immature. Um, Zenovi drawn one must be a massive runner. He's been drawn badly in his last couple of starts and run really, really well. Um, you know, I always have a question mark with him with his breathing, but uh, he just seems to be getting over it, you know. So um, until, until he doesn't, we've got to be confident. Last word, um, yesterday being the charity mile draws, I know uh, Warren Rippon and Arun Chada, good mates of yours. Uh, overall, happy with uh, how horses have come through their preparations? You've still got a week to go. Yeah, very happy, and um, of course, you know, it, it's a great day for Warren and, uh, and for Arun. These are two, two wonderful men, never mind um, what's on the surface on the charity day. Uh, in terms of uh, charities that have been supported, these men do a lot that unnoticed, and um, I wish them well on their day, and we can only encourage people like this in racing. We, we can't uh, say enough about um, their contribution to the industry and to charity. Always good to see you, Mr. De Kock. Thank you. Well done. Cheers. There we go. Lovely to see the legend himself, Mike De Kock, at the races today. And uh, he'll be very happy with that performance from Champagne Cocktail. Last word um, representing the groom, uh, Mikey, well done. I know that uh, you guys have always thought quite a bit. She looked unbelievable. So the yard ticking over nicely. And uh, you must be happy with this performance. Yes, uh, we're very happy about her. Um, I like to say well done to Job. His groom, he always run away when he come. he's supposed to come here. He loves his horse. He supposed went to holiday yesterday, but um, the boss spoke to him and said you can't go now because your fail is running, so he's leaving tonight. He gets the 1500? Yes, I'd like to say it well done to World Sport Betting and our sponsor, Betway. Well done, Mikey. Thank you. Good stuff. There we go. World Sports Betting doing what they do best, obviously contributing back to the grooms and contributing back to the game. Uh, 1,500 Rand will go to the winning groom, thanks to Mikey. Champagne cocktail, remember the name. Lovely to see Mike DeCock at the races. Lovely to pick his brain a little bit just to see where she'll be going from. Yeah, she's won super impressively today under a good ride from JP Fundamava. Well done to Volkabos Drip PTY Limited. Well done to Mary Slack, to Stephen, and of course to Jessica as well.